Hello everyone, Kryptonite here and welcome back to another Hydroneer video. So we were continuing through our Let's Play and here we are at Ember's Cradle and I've been hard at work in the background. So let's um, give you a little showcase and a little tour of the new upgraded mine. We've got six drills, we're only tier one drills at the moment. And over here we have our automated mine and sorting process. So we've got the harvester here and it basically goes along the conveyor belt to these sorters here and then follows it round. I've got a gem polisher, got a gem compressor as well. And then it basically goes along the conveyor belt process all the way up here to the other sorting stations with the smelters. I need to get hold of some funnels really because I'm having a couple of bits of spillages over here. But we'll just pop them on the conveyor belt here, not to worry. So let's get all of these drills turned on. Get some mining on the go. Going to get some money, we're going to basically craft a nice bit of jewellery. Just trying to get as many gems as I can in my compressor. How many have we got at the moment? We've got quite a few at the moment. Uh, just move this money over here for a minute. And this is my little black smithing station here. I've got my furnaces all set up nicely here. And I've got my tool racks here. I've got some tier 2 tools. So I don't know whether to carry on upgrading this. I do really want some auto smelters here. And then I think after I've got the auto smelters in. I might think about um, moving claim. I'm tempted to go up to Snow Rune Falls and buy that bit of land up there. I think that gives us a lot of space to do a nice big mining operation there. I want to do a absolutely epic build, but I want to do that with sort of tier 2. So it's going to take a, a lot of money, but what I am struggling with in tier 2 wise and I've only managed to really be able to get the pipes is I'm really struggling to find Cloutium here at this claim. I found a few pieces, but it's extremely rare. So that's why I'm kind of thinking along the lines of trying to buy another plot of land and sort of make a basic setup there just for the Cloutium. I might just do one sorter for the Cloutium. I might even just do it really basic and just have a hand sorter there for the moment. I'm really struggling to find some Cloutium. But everything here seems to be working perfectly fine. I might not even worry about the funnels. I might have one here, to be honest. The rest of them I don't really need. Oh, it looks like we have a broken filter over here. We'll quickly get that repaired. I might even play around with the logic and set up an, an auto fixer as well. But I think we'll play around with that in a future episode. I think that's quite a way off at the moment. So let's see what kind of um, gems we've got in here then. Let's um, operate our compressor once I stop moving around on these conveyor belts. Let's see what nice cut gems we've got here. Oh, we've got some nice big ones in here. A nice sapphire, that will do nicely. What's this sapphire weighing at? Let's have a look. 41, nice. Can make a nice necklace out of that one I reckon. So let's um, grab some gold. Let's see what this is weighing at. 735, wow. So yes, this mine is definitely working nice and well. Pop that in there to get it nice and ready. I'll do one for the iron as well. Keep it all organized. These ones I'm using for my iron and these ones I'm going to be using for my gold. So I thought I'd come by the shop to see how much the logic smelter is and it's uh, 17,000 so quite a bit. So what I might do first of all is to get the auto repair going which is probably going to cost quite a bit but I think that's more manageable at the moment than the smelter. At least then we'll have some logic components in there to make it even more automated and eventually we'll get the smelter. So let's head back to the claim now. We'll craft a nice necklace and we'll see what it's worth and see what money we have and then we'll come back and see what see what we can afford maybe get the um the auto repair going here we are back at ember's cradle so let's get some 
gold and a gold. Let's see how much this one weighs. 609. Lovely. So we've got a nice couple of gold bars there. That will do very nicely. Let's um, see what kind of big gem we can get. Just activate this. And let's see. Should we go for a nice onyx? Let's go for a nice onyx, I reckon. We'll go for a nice onyx. We'll have a nice um, necklace, I reckon. There we go. We've got our two gold bars. Just leave that one for a little bit longer. Oh, we've got a stranded gold ore here. Pop that back in the conveyor belt. Grab our blacksmith and hammer at the ready. And our gold bars are nicely done now. So we'll pop them on the anvil. So what kind of nice healthy necklace we have here. Oh, that looks like a nice big chunky one there. Let's see how much this one is worth. 35,000. Perfect. Okay. So that gives us um, a nice big chunk. Let's make a... What should we make now? Let's make a nice axe, I reckon. Make a nice axe. We've got a nice big chunk of iron over here as well. So we'll pop that in the furnace. Get that nice and glowing red. So at least we know we've got 35 or we've got broken filter up here. Let's quickly repair that. Definitely want to get this automated repair done. Save me a lot of hassle. These look like they're nice and ready now. I'll drop that one on the floor. Got to be a bit quicker than this. I think that one's fell off again. It has. Uh, sometimes it's so difficult to get them lined up. And we have a hack. Nice axe here, and that's worth 29, so lovely. We've got nice bits of um income there. So let's pop this here. Okay, so we'll get these sold, and we'll buy some logic parts. Here we are, a nice 65,000 in the bank. So let's go and grab some logic parts, shall we? So here we are back at the shop. So let's see, we're going to probably need one, two, three, probably 12 of these. 12. So one. Two. And 12. So that's all of them done. I'm guessing I'll probably only need one logic durability reader I reckon if I just read one pipe and then link all these up together I should be able to get all of them activated at the same time so what I'm guessing is I'm going to probably need something along the line of this so logic equals yeah so if I grab one of those um, and then I'll probably need a keypad to enter the value so yeah I can input a value of say 10 or whatever and then when the reader reads a durability of 10 I can get it to send a signal via this like that so yeah that sounds about right there right let's buy that lot to start with we'll get this lot all loaded into the truck Yeah, that's that we're done now for some pipes so i'm not really sure what pipes i'm going to need or cables rather i'll start with 10 of each i'll head back and get offloaded and we'll get it all figured out so it's a new day at ember's cradle and we are ready to set up our auto repair first of all what i'm going to do is move a few of these um i've got to think of the placement for these though i think i'm going to do them on top i reckon it's probably the best way to do it I think so I'm going to get the truck all offloaded now I've moved them filters I'm going to get everything laid out here ready for us to figure out how to make it all work okay so now we've all offloaded and everything else we are ready to start getting this all built up right I think what I'm going to do is tackle this problem first we'll get all these set up I reckon 
Yep, like that. That should be good. Same for this one. And same for this one. So that's them all done. So they're all in place. Now I think what we'll do is we'll link them up with all the cables. So where am I going to want my starting cable? I reckon my starting cable should be probably about here, I reckon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my keypad up first, I reckon. Get that set up in a position that I'm happy with. Um, I reckon maybe about there. That looks good there, actually. And then what I think I'm going to need is this one here to start with. Um, probably going to have to have that one moved back a little bit. Out there looks good. And then I can have my durability reader popping about there. I also wanted... Oh, I need a separate screen don't i to be able to take the reading and project onto a screen so i'm back with my two reader displays otherwise how else would it know what numbers it's actually reading eh trust me to forget something as important as that so let's get a couple of straight pipes because by the looks of it they hook onto a pipe yeah that looks good to me so i'm gonna have to move this back one to there uh, yeah that should work quite well actually it should have enough space in here so we'll pop that I want to put it on this side actually just there that looks good okay let's get another straight pipe in here just there pop the other reader on that looks good like that yeah that looks good like that and then what I'm probably going to do actually is i'm going to put an elbow in here like this and then i'll put my keypad on that one that looks pretty good like that i quite like that right there so my durability reader can go onto there i'll just pop this in here i'll put this down to uh, say five so when it gets down to Five durability. Oh look, it is upside down. Okay, we'll just um, rearrange that then. There we go, we now have our readers the right way up so we can actually read them. And this is where it's going to be slightly trickier. No, I think I've actually got this figured out. This should work quite nicely. So, should we have a straight piece maybe? Pop that onto the top of here. It might be a little bit too tall, but we'll see how it works out. So we'll get our elbow, flip that round like that. Then we need probably a T-piece. So yeah, if I put a T-piece there, I think I've got this figured out now. Put a T-piece here again. And then I can do straight down that one for the middle row, that one for that row, and Bob Jungle. And there we are for the final piece of the puzzle. Okay, so we need to pop this onto here. Just spin it round. Should detect that pipe. So it's at 11. Okay, that's perfect. It's nice and low. So let's turn all these back on. And then hopefully, when that gets down to 5, it should fire all of these. And repair them all. Well, that one's already dead, so too bad. It gives us a perf perfect chance to make sure it all works. We are down to six, so any minute now it should fire and start working. So let's see, any minute now it should drop down to five and it all should fix the filters. Okay, so it's hit five and nothing seems to be happening. So where have we gone wrong here then? Does this need to be the other way around maybe? Okay, so I did a little bit of investigation. Um, for whatever reason, uh, this dropped down to zero eventually, obviously. 
And, oh my god, my harvest is having a wait of a time because a few filters are broken. Um, I just put the keypad down to zero and it sort of worked. So I'm going to reset this. I'm going to pull it to... Put it to 96. Hopefully when this goes down to 96, it should work all as intended. Probably could have put that down to 97 to be honest. I thought I had a little bit less time than that. Let's see what happens now when it goes down to 96. And there we go. Yep, fixed. Okay, so for whatever reason, I just had to reset this. So lovely. We have our first bit of logic installed. I think what my plan will be is to fully kit out this mine, get it fully automated, operational, so I can just leave it to do what it needs to do. And then I'm going to buy a bigger claim and I'm going to do the ultimate tier two build. I'm going to have this as a full tier one setup. And then the next big plot of land I'm going to have as the great big tier two setup. Let's see how our cloud team is doing. Okay, so we are getting cloud team here, just it's quite rare. It's not too bad. Shouldn't take us too long. And then once we get our first sort of tier two drill and harvester down in our big claim, we should be ramping up them. Okay, I need, need to just reset this quickly. I'll put this back down to five. Okay, and I think I'm going to leave that episode here. So I think the next installment will be to look into how the logic smelters work. Get them set up here, but I'll do some mining while I'm away. Ready for the next episode, get some more gold in the bank. So I hope everyone is liking this series. I've got plenty of um, tips and tricks videos. I'll leave the playlist in the description if you're enjoying the hygienic content so far make sure you hit that like button make sure you subscribe for more hygienic content and i will see you in the next video thank you all for watching